us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. The Latouche twins, or whatever they're calling. These guys, I don't even get what they're all about. Some kind of weird... What or... I don't know. I had a weird situation with those two. I don't know what to think. Wait, wait, sort of remind so me... What is this? It was no... It was no baby? I, I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room. Until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. You know, that's the here, let's get on this topic now. What is DeWitt's debt? I mean I've played this game, but I still don't know what debt he's trying to erase. They never explain it, and I guess that's supposed to add the mystery to it, but it's actually kind of annoying because it's like that's the whole motivation for this game is to get rid of this debt that you don't quite know about. And, and that's that's another problem with the story is it becomes very discharred because because as you'll find out in a little bit what, what's actually going on. But anyways, back to this Latus character, the brother here. I don't know his name. Uh, I'm sure you can leave something in the comments. He sort of reminds me of a character from Resident Evil Code Veronica. I don't know if you guys remember that. I mean, I'm vaguely getting the feel of like the 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 weird uh, rich people vibe from this dude. You know, I guess maybe that's what they were going for. But anyways. Handing over this baby, who I believe is Elizabeth. Which? No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. I mean, look at how awful that voice voice facial right thing is it just doesn't even match up and it's just it really draws you out even the baby is I mean the baby looks pretty good Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins washes me of all my sins I don't even know what sins I love that though isn't that orchestra that's genius coming in there really really you know that's the other thing the sound is amazing in this game I mean that's how you know this is like a full on real production it just fails to be fun. <laughs> That's my only complaint. I love everything about it. It's just flat Bring and us unfun. The girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, you're bleeding. Oh. I remember. Penny. I remember. Hey, Penny. Now we've upset him. Penny. <laughs> Come on. All right, off the boat we go. Here we are. Climb the ladder. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to. You mean like Chen Li, like Lady Comstock? No, he is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. going here. Do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Ooh, hey. spooky. Hey, the deal's off. You hear me? The deal is off. Give her back. Give her back. You know, that's my other big right. What's the point of this on-rail stuff? It's... It is uncomfortable enough as it is. It's going to be more uncomfortable if you don't come now. If I get caught, it's going to be a very long time before we see each other. You will not get caught, I promise! You can't promise me that! We're going to lose our window! I'll wait, thank you! See, I mean, it's just like... I don't know, it's like lifeless and flat, and it's like, what the, what the hell is the whole point of this alley? Like, why even let me run around it? Like, oh, maybe the, the guy will stop and be abruptly decide to take a break from the story and look at this one sign back here or you know just sort of enjoy the clothes hanging up there and these garbage cans miss some of this stuff yeah I mean this is you know and they just continue to go on that's what I'm saying it, it just draws you out of the experience it doesn't really make sense it's like look at him what's he up to oh look at me <laughs> give her back you son of a bitch give her back give me my daughter give me my daughter no, no. No! Give 
Give it to me! You son of a bitch! Give it to me! Give me back my daughter! Oh. No! <laughs> I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, and that's the thing. This game is full of cool moments like that. Anna. No. No. Like that whole walking around bit before really just drew me out of what's something that was supposed to be really cool. Anna, I'm sorry. And maybe you could have made a little interactive, like a little A B A B A B there. You know, tapping the keys and. And like a quick time event, even that would have spiced this up and brought it into the modern era. Quick time events for that crap. <laughs> Go figure. Or is that just a gimmicky gameplay mechanic, like uh, you know plasmids and things like that? She's gone. Anna's gone. You shared this room with your Chaos AD. Disorderly. <laughs> Until one day, a man came to you. Chance, a redemption, a chance for us to be together. He <laughs> will just go, hey, hey, what's up? Uh oh, Penny, Penny, my brain. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Anna. So sorry, Anna. You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm, yeah, sure. Don't see the What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his shirt, as he is ours. You know, a lot of their quotes and stuff remind me too of another movie that I saw, and I, I don't quite know the name of this. But I think it was from the 70s or 80, early 80s. It was a cartoon. It's like time traveling and this guy like goes into this giant brain monster thing and it makes him go to sleep or it puts him back in time and then he comes forward in time and then like he's already done everything and he meets this chick and like he frees the people by killing the, the giant brain thing a thousand years in the future. Or some I don't know. Something crazy like that. You did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back, killed him before he did any of this? Set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. See, you know, like, here's the thing. Can you really kill innocents like that? I mean, when I go back to Comstock's birth and, you know, love him, you know, can we do that? Can we just love babies and maybe they won't turn out to be horrible evil dictators who want to rule the world i mean that could be a start i never heard anyone do a story like that <laughs> everybody pile in go back in time and raise hitler within a loving family and he won't exterminate you know try to exterminate the jews i mean it's just like i don't know i just think there's always a better way than killing yeah i'm a softie at heart i got a special place for people <laughs> Violence is the last resort of the truly incompetent, and that is something that should always guide you through life. Uh, Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Look at the whip. Are you ready to what be born this? again? Why are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember when... Wait. You're not... You're not... Who are you? You chose to walk away. But in other oceans... You took the baptism. And you were born again as a different man. Stop. It all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world. But in all of ours. Mother him and the mother. 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 Before the choice is made. Before you are and what reborn. Shall you take my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. Both. Uh, people. Uh,
should pay or something. I don't know. Somebody's going to do that. I guess that that. Wipe away that, that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, out of all those, you know, and that's the thing. It gets a little confusing throughout the game because you see different versions of her. And you're like, what the hell's going on? Like, sometimes you're really disjointed. You're kind of confused by the story. It's very difficult to follow. Um. That's another gripe I have about it. So, Bioshock Infinite. Why is it infinite? Because there's infinite realities. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I know. It's like just as amazing as learning about that that dead people thing. Anyways, here we are. Uh, Irrational Games. Ken Levine. And this guy, I got to hand it to him. He is a creative mind and a creative force. There is not, you know, what, you know, as much as I harp on this game, I got to give all of these guys credit here. They are all amazing in their own right, and they have all come together and done 